Inhalers need to be cleaned as well. To do so, first and most important is to refer to the manufacturer instructions. The reason is, some inhalers you can actually take out the canister and clean this underwater. Some you cannot. The canister must stay inside. For the ones that you cannot remove the canister, to clean it, you can remove the mouthpiece cover and you would just take some soap, uh, washcloth with some warm soapy water and you can clean the mouthpiece on the outside. It's good to do that after you've been ill because then you could prevent future infection. You can also take a Q-tip and clean inside where the little hole is to remove any debris that bit has built up. For the inhalers that you can remove the canister, you can go ahead and remove the canister. You never want to get the canister wet. Set it down and you would take this and run it under warm water for about 15 to 30 seconds. When it's done, you want to shake it dry. If there's any grime, lipstick, or you've recently been ill, you could take a washcloth with some soapy water and clean the outside of the mouthpiece. You can also use a little Q-tip to clean any debris that has built up inside the little hole where the mouthpiece comes out. Shake it completely when you're done to get off any excess water. Set it down to air dry overnight and it's ready for use and assembly the next day by just reinserting the canister and covering the mouthpiece. It's very important when you store your inhalers that you always store them with the mouthpiece cover on. And if you don't do that and it sits in purses or backpacks, sometimes little pieces of lint can get into the mouthpiece and then you can accidentally inhale that and choke. Another good habit to get into is anytime you inhale something, it's always a good idea to visually inspect any part of the device that you're about to inhale from to make sure there's not debris that can also cause choking.